yellow bone, huh? Let it be known, we got lost on the way to school. Even when I'm by myself, plasma pools, I'm not alone. Microwaves and cell phone upgrades influence my tone. I'm sorry if I come across as rude, I'm not intentionally being deliberately obtuse, I'm trying to spark the fuse. Colorful explosions detonate and translate that. I want to be a plant, I'm going to be a tree to be advanced, to be in the future, I'm in the future, can you see into my past? I lived in Berea opposite of Shabin. Rainbow Nation dream, mixed couple team moving towards a stream of energy, serene glow, controlled flow of matter and antimatter. The second and third dimension, brain theory, batter, coding a deep fried bubble universe within a universe. Universe is so colorful, colorful. The sound of my voice is the equivalent to a red pull. I'll give you cold chills, no uniform, get reborn, because Every day is Savi's day. Articulate cute vibrations, I have to say that I am everything, which means you are too. Command Z, undo everything you thought you should do. My voice is your voice, the sound of love, energy, and voodoo. Do you understand that you must do you? Do you know UFOs? You must know. Okay, so my main goal in life is to create spaces in which people can safely articulate their experiences outside of Western rhetoric. In order for the world to reach a more sustainable state, we have to start addressing the great inequalities within our society on a global scale. My parents sent me to a former Model C school because um, they worked really hard to give my siblings and me the best education possible and did my parents give us an education. Uh, when I was in the eighth grade, we had one really small module on the colonization of Africa that was to be covered in one 45-minute lesson. And I thought to myself throughout the duration of this lesson, like, what in Oprah's name uh, would make all these people who had no origin here come through and disrespect a place and its people in such malicious and violent ways? So in my eighth grade class, I was processing the little information I was given about colonialism, and it just sincerely hurt and distressed me. Um, the cavalier way in which everyone else was understanding the festering wound within our history really moved me too. So I put my hand up and I say quite simply, because I don't know how else to put it, what if white people hadn't come to Africa? Imagine how it would be and how we would have evolved. And without having finished my thought process, this gold Tara butts in and says, well, obviously, there wouldn't be civilization. Africa wouldn't have roads or hospitals or education or books for children to read or infrastructure or agriculture. And I just felt so outraged and frustrated, and I guess I still do. Um, so I responded to this girl with, are you saying all these things to me because you're white? At which point the teacher interrupted our exchange, the second time I'd been interrupted in this class, by expressing that we were moving away from the topic at hand. So that was my first conscious experience of being shut down by Western hegemonic structures. Ultimately, as being the fed, uh, fed the great white lie that colonialism, slavery, and apartheid was, was in fact over. That whole agenda, pushed by that norm, oppresses so much. Uh, the role people of color have played in the progression of human, human civilization has been systematically assassinated as in, and is in danger of being deleted from our collective psyche. It oppresses our history, culture, and magic within the world, this world that we all share together. And I get so angry sometimes, like really angry, and I needed a way to transfer that energy into productive and positive forces and unlock all that stuff that is being oppressed. Equality is a major theme within my life and my work and my dreams and my relationships. And since I'm here by the design in Daba, sharing, let me just share the major design tool that I use within my work, and that's empathy. Uh, I am Kyla Feel, and I don't want to enforce my opinion on other people. Growing up in Cape Town has shown that that's impossible to do, particularly as a brown person. But if I can just showcase a different perspective, someone else's reality, since we're so ensconced in the excess, the glamour of a war created by systems to financially enslave us, then that would be really dope. Um, I'm about the retelling of my people's stories, whether they like it or not, the unlearning of Eurocentric, heterodominant rhetoric or teachings, using emotional landscapes as a basis for my work. I make the subject of my focus, I make that the subject of my focus, sorry. Sincerely expressing an idea or thought or memory without traps or tricks, as opposed to like the normal intention of making money, financial gain, or basically just not adhering to common modes of storytelling. I hope to slowly shift the consciousness of my audience. Um, I aim to break down the violence, hurt, and low self-esteem caused by structural racism and misogyny, and I deliberately operate within mediums where people like me are othered, coming at you with an alternative, you know? 
Soon come the, will be the day when I no longer am just another angry brown girl being loud, but I'm actually considered a human being. Sharing my experience because I know... <laughs> sharing my experience because I know I can't break the stronghold, so I must reflect it culturally. Be the change, you know? You feel me? Thank you.